Hey, hey, hey. It's another Sunday night. Time to come in and align your energy for the week. Time to look at the cosmic forces and how we can focus that energy. Lots to talk about. Come on in and join me. Tarian Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in for a few moments and let's focus our energy. Let's talk about the cosmic forces, the new season, and how we can align with this energy for our highest good. Yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome tonight as we open up this energy to a brand new season and a full moon brewing out there. It's the harvest moon. One of my most favorite moons out there. It's always so beautiful and big and yellow and full of abundance and gratitude. One of my most favorite moons out there. So come on in. Let's focus our energy. If you can, do me a favor and just share this out. Maybe you know somebody that needs a little encouragement or needs a little alignment of energy or whatever. Do me a favor and share. So tonight, we're going to talk about the cosmic forces. We're going to align our energy in meditation and we're going to pick cards from the wild unknown. Now, if you have a question or you want me to pick a card for you, usually you just say pick a card. Tonight I'm going to ask that you put a question out there. What are you asking about for the fall? What are you asking about? All right, we'll do an overall reading for the fall and then we're going to just get a little more specific. So I'd love for you to post below, put in the put in the a comment box a question that you might have for me. All right, as I look to share it here on Facebook. All right, here we go. It's showing up. I'm also on Instagram. Yep, doing an Instagram Live, learning how to do both. You can find me from either place. All right, here we go. I'm going to share it in my group. If you're not in the group, I would love to have you in the group. It's the Empowered Spirit Circle. It's a community. We share information. We share ideas. We post. That's what we do in there. So come on in and join it. And then you'll always find these. I generally do a Wednesday update. I know lately with the change of seasons, I got a little out of out of off my schedule is what I'm trying to say but I do like to do something in there and share what's going on all right I've shared there we go okay last time here we go on my timeline in my group and on natural forces studio all right everybody hey Mary and Leanne and hey you guys on LinkedIn I never quite know who it is on LinkedIn all right so what is going on for you out there and again if you have a question and like a card go ahead and Put your question in there so I can pick a card for you. So here we are. We just yesterday moved into that equinox. We then moved into the autumn energy. Love the autumn. Love the fall. Love that switch of energy. I really do. What's the difference between autumn and fall? Who knows? Hey, Patrick. Who knows? What's the difference between autumn and fall? All right, I answered this question on my podcast this week. I didn't know it either, so I had to do a little research and find out. If you know, post below. And if not, be sure to tune in to this week's podcast, all about the literacy of fall, finding that spiritual literacy, finding those signs and symbols in your life, all right? And then you will be able to listen to it, have a meditation, and I even do a reading there too for the fall energy. But you'll find out the difference between autumn and fall. All right, so we are moving into a full moon. It's the first full moon of the season. It's a harvest moon. It's a moon that's really, 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 really allowing you to come in to look at what's going on and to really open up to the abundant energy of your life that's what it is really helping us to do all right it is um it falls right near that equinox so it's that change of energy it's that building of energy and that's allowing us to really open up to the full potential that this month really is offering us with it's closely aligned with saturn so we're going to have a little bit more of that grounding energy that to-do list energy which is really exactly what the fall starts out to be especially in the sun sun sign of libra so we're going to see that energy coming forward this week now, as with all full moons, we always have that building of the emotional body. So we are going to start off a little bit more emotional as we move through the week, even middle of the week. We've got a little bit of what they call Chiron retrograding. So Chiron retrograding in Pisces. So Chiron is kind of sometimes that like um, 
that handicapped energy, that victim energy, that poor me energy. And in Pisces, Pisces is that water emotional sign. So as you move through the week, especially with that full moon building, you may begin to feel a little bit of some of those deep wounds coming forward. The tendency is going to be to throw it at other people, blame other people, like you did this to me, you made me feel. All right, so really important that you kind of pull that energy in, which is what we start to do in the fall anyway. We start to pull our energy in is what our meditation will be about tonight because otherwise we're projecting way too much out on other people and not being able to see what we need to see for ourselves so we're going to see that come through in the middle of the week and by the time we get to the end of the week there is a lot of creative energy coming forward as well by the time you get to the end of the week so you're going to be you know be able to enjoy some of those projects and things that you want to do that fall energy is going to feel good all right, so that's kind of where we're headed for this week, knowing that that full moon is coming in. All right, lots of emotional energy building, so careful of that emotional body. All right, um, we also have a little bit of that fire energy for the moon because it is in the sign of Aries. So that could fire the emotions a little bit, or that could help for you to temper some of that water. Sometimes we get too much water, that fire kind of turns to mist, right? Sometimes it can put out the fire too. So Find the balance in that energy for you. If you notice that you have that emotional energy, go within. I was taking a, a um, somanics uh, healing class this weekend, yoga class, somanics healings with Akasha Ellis at Birmingham Yoga. Great class. And one of the things we looked at there is, you know, the pain and the trauma of the body and how we can go in to heal it in a very slow and inward way. It was really quite amazing. And so one of the things that caught my eye was like, what is the energy in, injury about? What is it about? What is it teaching us? So when we can look at hurts and troubles and sorrows and pains that way, where's the lesson? Where are we holding it? What is it teaching us? It really does help us to grow. It really does help us to learn our lessons. I mean, that's kind of what we're here for, right? It's not always happiness. If we always had good times and happy times, we wouldn't know. All right, so those are the things that we kind of want to look at as we feel some of that Chiron energy. We feel the full moon energy, but... We have some of that Aries energy coming forward, so it could inspire you, and I hope it does, to shift up your energy, clean up your altar. How about this? Beautiful. Look at these flowers. They're zinnias. They're not really easy to grow down here in the south. They're just beautiful. You know, bring out your crystals. Bring out your flowers. Open up. I even got some gourds to add to it. This is a time to spruce it up. Get those some of those smells going, right? We were talking about that in our sort of yoga class this past few weeks really opening up to those senses of the of the season and it's gonna help you feel so much better and so much more refreshed so as that full moon comes in you can feel the abundance of your own life you can feel the abundance of your work all right now this full moon being one of my most favorite ones i always love to remind people to, to put your crystals out in the window seal or put them outside let that beautiful harvest energy wash over your crystals right now all right you don't have to do every one but maybe some some choice ones all right put them out there and just let that energy bathe over it's abundance it's harvest it enables you to open up i would like to say to the brightness of your life all right take a moment and put the struggles aside all right don't carry all the stories forward open up to the gratitude to the abundance all right we're going to see that we're going to see a lot of that course correcting going on one of my most favorite lessons that i learn in the medicine wheel course correct so as this full moon comes in beginning of the season really open up to that light within you put your intentions out there and then of course as with any full moon we start to release that energy as we move through the week so you'll find it a little troublesome in the beginning and then wednesday you might feel that pull again the key here is really to balance and ground some of that saturn or that saturn energy will help you to do that and that's going to help you stay more focused, more internal, rather than throwing the energy on others. And then as you move toward the weekend, you'll find some of that creative energy to do what the fall offers you to do. All right, so let's take a moment and just align our energy through meditation. And I'd like to have the focus be that we really start to pull that energy in and release it down instead of projecting it out. So our breath is going to be about up and down, out in and then back down again and then up and down out and then pull it in what doesn't need to be and then release it down and that breath it's kind of a nice little rhythm that can help you if you find that you are overreacting this week to other people or pushing your stuff out on others that can help you to just release all of the stuff 
hanging out in your auric field, all of those emotional energies, all that energy, help you release it back into the earth so that you can find that balance for you. All right, so wherever you are, just take a nice deep inhale. I'm gonna light a little sage. And exhale away. Close your eyes if you can. And then inhale again, bringing that breath all the way up into the heavens. And exhale all the way back down, deep into the earth. And just pulling that energy in, inhaling, calling your higher guides. Feel them right above the higher chakra, right above the crown. Exhale, send the breath down deep into the earth. And let's just offer an intention as we open up to this beautiful fall energy. Taking a moment and offering gratitude for your life, for all the many things that you have. Inhaling and exhale. And as we sit in the medicine wheel, we shift the direction to the west. So we honor that direction of the west where the sun sets, where the light comes into the dark, where we harvest our work and we offer the gratitude. So we honor the direction of the west. And then we look to the other directions, the north, the east, the south. We honor those above us, below us, right into the very center, right into your heart. Just open up to that energy as you ground with Mother Earth and ground with the energy of the season. And now let's use that focused breath as you begin to breathe up from the universe, breathe up through the torso, the crown up into the heavens. And as you exhale, pull the energy down through the body, deep into the earth, release it out. Now from the heart, open the energy out in front as you inhale. And as you exhale, gather all that excess emotional energy, gather it back into the body and send it down. Let's do that again. Inhale fresh energy from the earth, prana, chi, up into the heavens. And as you exhale, bring the energy back down, sending it deep into the earth. Inhale out from the heart, open that energy out. And as you exhale, pull the excess energy in, pull that excess emotional energy, sending it down deep into the earth. Let's do that one more time. See if you can notice what you're feeling as you do this. Open up into the higher realms with the inhale. Exhale, pull it back down deep into the earth. Inhale out in front of you from the heart. And as you exhale, pull the energy back and send that excess energy down deep into the earth. Good. And just take a moment and sit in this energy, noticing what you notice. See if you can feel that energetic body pulling in. Feel the alignments of the spiritual body over the physical body, shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips. Exhale down deep into the earth, grounding the energy, focusing for you. Bring in the awareness back, inhaling and exhaling. Bring in that awareness back, coming back. Good. So that is a really good focused breathing pranayama exercise that you can do with your energy system up and down, forward and in, and then send that excess energy down. Remember, energy follows intention. Maybe you know what you're holding on to. Maybe you are feeling too personal. Maybe you are feeling whatever it may be. Releasing it down is going to help you stay centered. All right. So our cards from the week are really beautiful cards. I love the wild unknown. I thought it was a great way to start off this fall season. So the first card for all of us is this wonderful card, Seven of Pentacles. This is a really great card because pentacles is our earth. All right, we're harvesting all the abundance, the food, the money, all the things that we've done. All right, and this card suggests right now is a really good time for you to take a step back. All right, we're building energy. We're looking at what we're doing, but it's also a great time to evaluate. Now, I love the way the lines come in and intersect on this card. Maybe, just maybe, you may need to do a course correct. You may need to shift and do a course correct. So this is the opportunity right here at the beginning of the season to evaluate your harvest, to evaluate what you're doing. It may, doesn't mean that you have to do a complete 180, but maybe you need to shift that energy a little bit so that you can really 
find the abundance there of what is working. A great time to look at. Imagine like the farmers out in their field, they're seeing their crops, what worked, what didn't. We can use that same analogy for ourselves, right? How can you relate to this card? All right, sevens also bring in spirituality. Oops, I dropped it. Sevens also bring in spirituality. So where can you build that spiritual energy and trust the intuition of what you're doing? So that's the other layer that you can look at with that seven. Now, we're going to look at the one, two, threes of how you can do this and how this card directly does affect you as well and how you can work with the energy. All right, so... The first card, if you chose card one, we have the Five of Cups, all right? We've had this card before, so the Five of Cups really allows us to look at what our story is. Fives, fives is a little bit about change, struggle sometimes. I think in this particular deck, there is a little bit of that struggle energy, and Cups is our emotional level. So this, to me, indicates, look how he's holding his head down. There still is some of the story you're bringing forward. There still is some healing that needs to be done. So don't dwell in the poor me. That's that Chiron energy coming in this week. Don't dwell in that, but look underneath. What is it going to take for you to lift your head back up and find the pride in your life? We have to sometimes do a little more healing, all right? But as you do that, that can also help you to understand where you need to reevaluate your life, right? So it's not always a negative card, but one of letting you understand what that emotional body is telling you right now. All right, so if you drew card number two, this is a beautiful card. It is a major arcana. It's about strength. All right, we have the lion. The lion has the rose in the mouth. We've got the infinity symbol coming right up here. This is about finding that courage and the strength. We've got the sun shining overhead. But notice how the lion's holding a rose in its mouth. A rose is really also finding some of that yen energy, that feminine energy to be strong in who you are, to have the courage to move forward, even if you've had adversity in your life, even if you have to, of course, correct, change direction. It gives you that courage. Love this card when it comes up. And the traditional deck in the right way, the one I learned on it, shows the woman putting her hand in the mouth and not being bitten. So it sometimes takes that that courage of really like, I can do this, even if it doesn't seem like I can. So this is a really great card right now to find the strength, to reevaluate what's going on, and if you need to make a change, have the courage, all right? Change is not always wrong, right? All right, I got a big laugh there. All right, and then the card number three. This is a really great card, too, for the whole picture. This is the Father of Swords. This is a master of energy. This is someone that knows what to do. Do this, do this, do this, do this. This is a great card for the beginning of the, of the fall season, especially that Libra energy. It's knowing the details of the life, right? Knowing the details of what you need to do. Now, how is that going to relate to this card? This is going to help you make the details that you need to shift. This is going to help you make your list, do your to-dos, write it down when you evaluate. All right, it's a really great card to do that with this kind of energy. Now, don't get too technical, all right? Don't get too picky, but really have a sense of purpose in what you're doing with your to-do list to figure this out. All right, it is a master. Don't doubt yourself. This is a great card to say, okay, I do know, and this is listening to your intuition, right? Knowing, being in alignment with, okay, this is the decisions, this is what I want to do, and this is how it's going to work, all right? Really great card to align with this. All right, so just to recap again, for all of us, this is a time right now, perfect alignment, perfect for the fall season, all right? We're building, our, we're building our energy up. This is a time to step back. This is a time to say, do I want to continue? Do I need to course correct? You guys know I love that term, course correct, for all of us. Now, the way in which if you chose one, two, or three, or you can listen to the whole reading, however it is for you, Check in and see if there is some healing that needs to be done that's left over and has followed you into the season. All right, now, again, as we were talking about before, it doesn't have to be a horrible thing. Look what the lesson is. What is it going to take for you to lift that head again? And this is the emotional body. All right, full moon energy, perfect alignment. Also, that Chiron energy that comes in middle of the week. But let it be a learning, not a hurt. All right, open up, release the emotions using that breath. Number two, if you chose, love this card, which is 
the strength card. This is giving you that courage to make those shifts, to make those changes, to really course correct if you need to. And if you don't need to course correct, courage to continue on. But remember the rose, all right? The infinity, anything is possible, that infinite potential, as you have the courage to come to the plate. Hang on to that ground in that Saturn energy this week. And then we have the Father of Swords, all right? A master of the energy. Do this, do this, do this. That's that Saturn energy coming in, aligning with the full moon. That's going to help you do it. So make your to-do list. Work with the energy. Beautiful cards this week, right for the beginning of this season, right for the beginning of that fall, that full moon coming in as well. All right, let's take a deep inhale. I get so excited when the cards are so brilliant. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, I know a couple of people, whoa, posted that they had questions for me earlier. Let me go back and look. And if you have a question for me that you'd like me to pull a card on, let me know. All right, Leanne, this is for you. Will my son ever be happy and fulfilled? All right, kind of hard when we ask about somebody else, Leanne. Really is because your idea of happy and fulfilled may be definitely different than his. So maybe you want to ask that in another way. Open the energy up a little bit and give me another idea. Something like, what's blocking my son from being happy or fulfilled? What's his next step? That kind of thing. But again, it's always hard when we ask about somebody else. So let me give you that opportunity to really kind of post that question again. All right, I'm going to come back and check that out. All right, so over here, Instagram, just Stoxy. I don't quite know who you are. If you put your first name in, that would be great. But you may have a card. Do you have a question for me? Let me know if you have a question for me. All right. Otherwise, I'm going to draw one. All right, let me just check the questions where we are. Perfect for me right now. All right, Kat, perfect. Joseph, good, cool. Hey, Jackie, hey, T, how are you? Great cards. They are great cards. Please send a card my way. Love the courage. All right, Patrick, do you have a question for me? All right, this one is over here for Juxtoxy. This one is for you. All right, it's a nice card too. It's the Eight of Pentacles. It's that spider web of energy. This is just kind of reminding you to continue spinning your web. web. Put your energy out there. I love this because I actually know a meditation with a spider web, which is like send the energy out for all those that you need to help or service in your life. This is kind of the business, right? The pentacles is our money. This is also, too, about the details of your life. How do spiders do that, right? Really building that detailed energy of your life and sending it out there for you, all right? All right, let's see here. Patrick, did you please send me a card? All right, don't see a question. Bring me a question, Patrick, or I'll pull one from you. All right, Thelma, is there anything blocking me right now? Let's see what we have for you. All right, so the three of pentacles comes up, Thelma. This is like that card where it's time to take a step back and see what you're doing. Look at what it is. Pentacles is our money, our security in life. But look at the mountain. All right, don't let a mountain, don't let an idea or thought that seems so big and oppressive get in your way. That could be what's blocking you. Be able to like break it down a little bit so that you can move forward, all right? So look for that energy around you as you move through this week because what could be blocking you is really more so, it's pentacles, so it is physical. It's going to say more so kind of like what we think sometimes. So ground your energy, and when you feel like you have a mountain in front of you, chunk it down a little bit, all right? Sometimes it's like, um, you know, when we have too much to do, we have to write those lists. Again, same idea with that, all right? All right, T, from Healthy Habits and Exercise. All right, T, here we go. Thanks for joining me. Tina has a great podcast, the Intuitive Woman Podcast, such an inspiration for mine, as well as her Intuitive Woman group. All right, T, this card is for you. The Son of Pentacles. All right, so that's kind of interesting. The Son of Pentacles is a young energy in there. All right, so what is blocking you with that kind of energy? And some of that energy is, is kind of the innocence of grounding, all right? It's kind of like the innocence, like trying too hard, right? So coming back to like, I do know what it is that I need to do, and it's actually just doing it, all right? So when we're young and when we have that, because this is the sun, all right, this is like kind of like, let me realign. Let me come back to the very basics, one thing at a time and build that energy. We're trying to get there too fast, T. I know you know what I mean. Come back to the basics, all right? You've got the moon that's in the color, right? You know this. 
So look to that intuitive energy for you for that one step at a time. Don't go to the big picture. That's what's blocking you from doing it. You want to get there too fast, right? I know you know what I mean. All right, Joseph, looking to see if I should continue. Good, T, so right on. Looking to see if I should continue or shift, and you're at a crossroads. All right, that was kind of what our cards were at the beginning of the night, right? That's that seven of pentacles. So if you missed the, the reading, go back and look at that, because that was speaking directly to this question, and then this is the one that you can add in for you. The mother of cups. All right, so I want to ask you in your work, are you, are you able to really get into the heart energy of what you're doing? That's the why. That's the question to be asking you right now to look at this, all right? Look at that why. And if you're not into the heart roads and you think you're taking the safer road, if you're not into the heart energy, sometimes we don't go to what we want or what the why is because we think we should do something else. That's a good way for you to look at that energy. And then check in with your body and see where it's hitting you. But that's exactly what this card is asking you to do. Come into your heart. Ask the question there, is this my why for work or am I just doing it to fulfill? And then... Go back and listen to the to the re other cards because then you can figure out how to lay it out and look at that energy. All right, let me know if that helps you. All right, words for reassurance and trusting intentions. All right, Patrick, let's go. Reassurance and trusting intentions. The Hierophant. All right, Patrick. The Hierophant to me is always about giving the power away when it is indeed you that sits on the key of life. All right, look for those aha moments. You have it within you. And that's all the trust that you know. All right, look for keys this week. I want you to do that. Put it out there and look for keys, and that can help you confirm the energy that you're in. Don't give your power out away. You have this, and I know you do. So that you sit with that key. Don't give it away. Look for those signs for you. That is the way in which you trust your intuition. All right, you trust your inti in intentions. All right, now, sometimes spirit gives us what we need not necessarily what we want so that's where we pull the ego out separate it out so that you can know that those intentions because i know we talked about this can come forward for you all right let me know if that resonates take a deep inhale all right i'm back over here on instagram hi there sin tank chin tank i don't know Yes, you may get a card. Oh, you got the lover's card. How wonderful is that? The two of cups. This is the traditional lover's card. All right, look at that. So there is some of that energy coming forward for you. Yes, how does that feel? All right. Now, in this particular deck, she really does interpret it to be love with somebody else, that love connection. Sometimes in the love card, it's like love within yourself, that divine love. But this is indicating a lover's card for you coming forward. That's some of that Venus energy that's coming in. Let me know how that feels. All right. Yep, that's me. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. What is blocking my son from achieving his goals? That's a better way to put it, Leanne. This card is for you. You see the difference? It opens the energy, and that could be helpful. All right. This is the moon card. All right, so the moon is all about trusting that intuition. Look how it sits between those two trees. Those trees are rooted and strong, and then the intuition comes in. All right, so he is doubting himself. He is doubting himself, and he's probably getting caught in the chatter of the ego and the mind. So that's what can get in our way. All right, so that's a great way to look at it. I don't know how you can open up the discussion for him, but maybe some of the more encouraging words for him so that he can see his gifts and he can see what he's good at. He's doubting himself. He's not trusting that. All right, Leanne, I hope that helps. All right. All right. Thank you. Reading all around. All right. Great. Especially for Leo. Thanks, Selma. Hmm. Thank you. Means a lot at this time. All right. Yes. Very good. All right. Let's see what else we're out there. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good here. So a really great reading coming in. Really great energy coming forward. I'm excited to have this fall energy open up for us. All right, I mentioned before, this week, coming out on the podcast, I have more energy about reading the signs of fall and what that means for you. There's a really great meditation in there as well. Check it out. It'll be out on Wednesday. If you missed last week, it was that transition. So if you feel like you're aligning with this card, like you're bringing too much of your story forward, check out that podcast. We get a little bit into leaving that energy behind. Some great visualization as well. All right, so this week coming up locally, I'm going to be doing the Reiki Circle, focusing on those that have been through some kind of abuse, whether it's emotional abuse, 
financial abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse. I'm going to be focusing the Reiki circle in on that, something new that I'll be starting, and hopefully we'll build this group as well. Wednesday nights at Birmingham Yoga at 5.30, followed by our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful restorative yoga class for the season. We've been having a really, really great group in there, doing some great things, been making some yummy treats as well. So come join us. And also, too, I'll be applying what I learned this weekend with Akasha, helping us really get into that deep, deep, deep parasympathetic nervous system of the body. And I'm also going to go ahead and announce November. I have a great event coming up. Super excited. Downtown Birmingham at Forma is developing intuition as a business decision tool. Very excited. We're going to have a lot of fun. Sacred space. Brunch is included by Farm Bowl. Coffee by Revelator. Really excited. A great way to network and talk to other women. We're going to learn some visualization and learn some of these tools. So I hope you'll join me. Also going to be doing Bring a Friend for Free. All right. Once you sign up, you can put in. I'll give you a code. But you have to sign up first. You get a code for your friend. Come together. Really a lot of fun. That's the first Saturday in November. All right. Not that far off, really. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Post below how these help. If they do help, let me know. Also, too, I am doing an autumn renewal package. Come on over to the studio. I've got some yummy things that we're doing in there, sort of. If you can't make that, do some private sessions, and you'll receive some of these great scrubs and oils and beautiful gratitude journals. So I did put the link in there below. Check it out. I'd love to see you back in the studio, whether it's online or remote as well. I do both. All right. Have a great week. Enjoy this blessed, beautiful harvest moon. Put your crystals out there. Find some beautiful flowers. Freshen up your altar. Freshen up your energy. Love seeing you on tonight. Thank you again to your spirit. Namaste. Thank y'all.